Hello, my fellow YouTubians. Good morning to you. Uh, this is Pool Shark Wizard, and I say good morning because it's just getting light out. Um, I've done a few things uh, since the last time we saw each other. Um, I've started a tree farm here. I've cut down some of the wood. And what I think I'm going to start today off with, um, we might get into the tree farm a little bit later, but what I really want to do is I found out how to make this functional kitchen. And uh, with a functional kitchen, it's very nice to be able to have everything in one spot. And the things that we're going to need for that is going to be, it's going to be in uh, two logs, three fences, one furnace, need some planks, and we'll need our workbench. So to start out, we're going to make some fence. Now, we'll go to the crafting workbench here. We're going to use the sticks. And what we're going to do with the sticks is we're just going to run them along here. <coughs> just like so. And we'll make a couple. Just to be on the safe side here. So we'll make a couple more fronts here. Now I've seen this, ID, uh, this um, idea from Me Midgety. And it's a really cool idea in my opinion. Um, so we're going to take this dirt up. We're going to move this up move our logs down, gonna move our fence down, move our planks down. Uh, made a couple more chests, um, which I believe, yeah, I've showed you how to make a chest. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the workbench, we're gonna move our furnace, and we're gonna create our new kitchen. So, let me uh, start out. All right, here we go. We'll escape out of here. I'm just gonna break down our crafting bench here. Shovel's probably not the best. We'll use the pickaxe. Come on. <clears throat> there we go. Got our crafting bench, and we're gonna leave this chest sit there for now because it's quite big. We'll take down the furnace that we have going on here, and I've kind of laid out a starting point area here. So we're going to go up one, two, three, and we'll place down our crafting bench. <coughs> Four right there. Alright, so we got the crafting bench down. We're going to throw some down, some wooden planks. One there, one there. Uh, back up a little bit here. We're going to throw down our furnace right here. Our furnace. Open up my inventory. Bring down the furnace. Escape back out. Furnace. And on this side, we're going to lay down our storage chests. One. Let's back up a little bit here. Number nine. And we got that. I wish it was facing the other way, but that's okay. Okay, so now we'll throw down another wooden plank. So we got the basis of this, and we'll throw some wooden planks at the very back side here too. Walk over here, place that down, and we're going to walk around. And along here, what we're going to do with the fence posts is we're going to Throw one up on top of these blocks. One there. One there. Throw down one here. Alright. And then we're going to use the blocks just to give it a uh, funky feel. And we'll put these wood blocks right up on top. If it can go up on top. Maybe it can't. Maybe we'll jump up on top here. Oops, that was a little quick for you guys. Oh, I guess we'll have to get rid of that torch. Put one there. And the other one right here. And now what we'll do is we're going to fill this in with wood planks. And now we have ourselves a working kitchen. I'll probably have to adjust this a little bit more. Move the infinity pond someplace else. 
but yeah, I'm looking at this. I have it like this. I can throw up some torches on there. Just to give it the extra. Oops, I don't have my torches. Well, we'll wait on the torches. But yeah, when you walk in, there we go, a working kitchen. Um, we will be back. I'll do a little, f a few more details, and we'll take it from there. Alright, we're back, and I think what I'm going to do is, um, because I'm eventually going to try to put all this floor to um, planks, I'm just going to get rid of the infinity pond right now. Now, I haven't tried this, and I think it'll work. Let's see here. Yep, good deal. Um, the water's going to be gone. It will eventually go away. And... I think I will just go through and start replacing a bunch of these blocks, just like uh, I can show you with the pickaxe what I'm going to do. I'm just going to chop this out. Just chop them out. <coughs> and see, you can see the water's gone now. And throw in some wooden planks. I'll just give the uh, place a better feel. So I'll cut it for now, and uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Hey guys, we're back. <coughs> I was doing uh, wooden planks here, and I ran out of wood, so now I'll show you the tree farm. Uh, we'll run outside, close the door. Okay, I did set this up. Um, oops, it was a little jumpy there, sorry about that. I did th set this up as markers for now. Um, just so when I keep on regenerating these, uh, it shows up and I know where I had them planted. <coughs> uh, trees do have to be planted on earth, it ha or it has to be planted on dirt. Um, I tried planting on a sand, and it did not work, so I had to build this up. So there's dirt all over the place. And I'm just going through. Now to plant trees, all you have to do is we'll set our, select our uh, seedlings here. Get that one. And we'll just right click on it. And yeah, the screen's a little bit jumpy right now. I apologize for that. That should be fixed next time around when I get my, uh, well not next time around, but uh, this next week I should be getting my new PC sometime, so hopefully that will help the jumpiness out. Um, I did mark them with the sand here, <coughs> so they're nice and spaced out in a proper way. And I'm not sure how long it takes for trees to actually grow, but uh, you'll get the idea. <coughs> so yeah, we are able to plant some trees. So this will be the tree farm. These are going to get all nice and big and bushy, and I might have I might update this going forward too. But uh, for now, that's where we're sitting at. Um, now, I need to find some more wood so I can finish up the floor. Um, so I think I might cut the video pretty quick here. And I think I am going to... I might have a really cool idea for <coughs> this uh, area up here. It might work out pretty cool. Uh, we will see. I've also kind of updated my spawn point, so if I die, um, I spawn right there. Have a nice area, but yeah, this billiard seed world is great. Got all kinds of area out there to explore. <coughs> I've come across a bunch of iron, a bunch of coal. Um, I found a couple other caves down here. I found one right down there, and I, that one's still there. So please m let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see. And I look forward to you guys subscribing, uh, comment, like my videos, and uh, let me know what you'd like me to do next. Uh, the options that I gave before was building a lookout tower way up there, exploring some caves, or building a Pueblo someplace. So I will cut the video right here during the day, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.